Hi everyone, I'm Bo. And I'm Becky. And we are The Right Sites. And today we are in Mobile, Alabama. And we're gonna show you the top three places to eat in downtown Mobile. It is a great place with a lot of restaurants and we can't wait to show you the best place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this morning we're at a spot of tea. Spot of tea for breakfast. So I hope you join us for this segment. And don't forget to subscribe to The Right Sites if you haven't already done so. And like, comment, and share. <laughs> All right, so let's check out the top three places to eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Mobile, Alabama. One of the really neat things about this spot of tea is they have seating right on the sidewalk underneath an overhang. And then across the street, they also have some seating over here that is right in front of, I believe this is Cathedral Park. All right, so we just sat down for our breakfast here at the Spot of Tea outside. It's a beautiful morning. You can go inside, of course, and eat, but wow, this is a cool feel. Yeah, it's nice. The weather's great and cute, cute atmosphere. Yeah, kind of reminds us of New Orleans a little bit. Mm -hmm. I've even, never even been though in she's New never Orleans. been, she's seen pictures I've been. <laughs> reminds and me of Key West. Key West, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, take a look, good look at the menu. It's got a lot of cool information. And uh, it serves uh, breakfast and lunch, and I think dinner as well now. No, only, oh, do they serve? Just no. brunch. No, just, just breakfast brunch. and uh, uh, brunch. So what are you gonna get? I am getting the Bananas Foster's, Bananas Foster French, French Toast. toast yeah. <laughs> and I was asking a waitress inside, she said that's her favorite. Oh, I can't wait. And my mom and I, we are splitting the famous Eggs Cathedral. Oh, and it would have been so much more dramatic if you said that a few minutes ago when the cathedral bells were ringing. Yeah, there's a cathedral <laughs> right across uh, the way here. And so that is where they got the nickname for this particular... Uh, um, but tell them what's in it, because that's why I wouldn't share. <laughs> all right, Ed's Cathedral is uh, a grilled English muffin topped with crab cake. Wow. Scrambled eggs and our homemade seafood sauce made with blackened Mexican grouper and crawfish. That doesn't sound as like... As well as hash browns. That sounds breakfast. delicious. <laughs> Maybe for lunch, uh, but not breakfast. <laughs> read the back of the menu too, because they talk about moon pies. I didn't oh. know this about Mobile. Mobile, Alabama in 2008, I believe, started dropping a moon pie from their tallest building <laughs> for New Year's Eve. It's the moon pie drop. Wow. Isn't that we're cool? We're going to have to come back. That yeah. sounds like something we no, can't miss. We're going to come back for the moon pie drop. And they also have a moon pie dessert here named after that. I don't think we'll get it this morning. Maybe we'll come back and get it another, another day. So that's what we're ordering. Uh, we can't wait for it to get out for some delicious uh, food. Will you share your uh, banana sponsors? Maybe a bite or two. Ah, here it comes. It Perfect is. timing. Hey. Look at this. All right, look at that. There is, oh, this looks so good. It's the first time we've had a cameraman. Yeah, yeah. Well, Camera that woman. is the Banana Fosters. You can even hold up here. That is the uh, Ed so Cathedral. Wow, that looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Very unique. Don't think I've ever tasted anything quite like this for breakfast. So we really enjoyed breakfast at the Spot of Tea, and now we are out for lunch, and we're going to take you to... The Noble South, which is right across the street from the uh, main park in downtown Mobile, Bienville Park, or Bienville Square, I believe is the name of it. And right across the corner is the Noble South. We hear it's kind of an eclectic 
southern style restaurant. So it sounds delicious. All right, let's go. in the Noble South, and we're in the sidecar part of the restaurant, so it's a little quieter and a little quaint. Um, not as much action as next door, but we kind of like that. We ordered, what did you get? I ordered uh, the blackened catfish. The blackened catfish? With cauliflower and rice casserole. And then Bo, I think you ordered the catfish as well, but he got the, no he didn't. Did you get the crawfish etouffee? Oh, good. I was hoping he would try that. He got the crawfish etouffee. Is that how you say that? Etouffee, mm -hmm. right? And L.A. caviar salad. So I'm anxious to see what that looks like. And then I got a um, turkey grilled cheese. So it sounded good. Uh, but the menu is very unique and sounds good. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so ladies, what did you get, Becky? Uh, mac and cheese and the turkey groceries. Nice. That's good. That's oh, good. <laughs> so there is what I got, the crawfish etouffee, the um, collard greens, and the L.A. caviar. I'm thinking that's Louisiana caviar because it's uh, oh, yeah. green, uh, black bean salad. So I'm going to take a bite of this. Mmm, a good old southern, southern meal. I've grown to love collard greens as I've <laughs> aged. Mmm, oh, very good. Ah, oh, now the main course, the crawfish etouffee. Mmm, mmm, wow, that really is good. Okay, so that is uh, the place we would recommend for lunch while visiting Mobile, the Noble South. And it was really good and very unique. The menu was super cool, had yep. lots of unique items, and it was very, very good. Yeah, and that's what I loved about it. You really couldn't find that type of meal anyplace else. So it was outstanding. So uh, number one, we said for breakfast, go to the spot of tea, mm -hmm. which was wow. That was delicious. delicious. Uh, number two, we recommend the Noble South, right in the heart of Mobile. And then oh, the... Oh, and the prices were good, too. Yeah. And then <laughs> the third place we're going to recommend for dinner, uh, we'll go there tonight. Okay. And it is a seafood place, maybe the most famous place, not just in Mobile, but the entire state of Alabama, as far as a seafood place goes. Can't wait. Can't wait. So, number one, Spot of Tea. Number two, the Noble South. And number three tonight will be seafood. The third place we would recommend eating while in Mobile, Alabama is... Winsell's Oyster House and Restaurant. And if you know anything about Mobile, you probably know something about Winsell's because it is kind of the classic, most famous place in this city. It's been around since 1938. And it's a hopping place. Yeah, a lot of people are here tonight. And Becky said I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't tell you this, but I've actually been to Winsell's. <laughs> a long, in long time ago. 1981. <laughs> I think back. I wasn't even born yet. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, in 1981, I think this is the only Winslows there, uh, there was at the time. I think there are about six or eight now in the state of Alabama. So it's beginning to expand. But this is the original. And one of the things I remember, first time I ever had frog legs right here at Winslows. And, and it was they delicious. have a great slogan. Oh, yeah. Their original <laughs> owner, of course, is all about oysters here at the Oyster House. 
What did he uh, say? Fried, stewed, and nude. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not really sure what the nude is. I think it's pretty much raw oysters. So we're gonna have to get oysters tonight. Becky, will you gonna are you gonna try the oysters? You think? Maybe fried. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they have char 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 grilled oysters too. Anyway, this is a great place if you're in Mobile. You won't want to miss eating at Winsels. So when you walk in the front door, you'll notice it is just kind of one of those classic uh, local places. Over to the right is the oyster bar itself. And uh, most of the day, you can see someone shucking oysters back here. So this is pretty cool. You got a lot of fresh oysters here. So if you love fresh oysters, this is the place to be in Mobile. So you can kind of see the restaurant, a lot of seating, a lot of things written on the wall. And uh, what these are, are sayings of the original owner. Like up here it says, it's no longer a sin to be rich, it's a miracle. So there are maybe, I don't know, hundreds of sayings up here from the uh, original owner of Winsel's. And of course, a lot of famous people that have been here, you've got their pictures on the wall. And back in the back, there's more seating. So plenty of seating and also a uh, bar area here. And one of his famous uh, sayings is, there's no place like this place. So this must be the right place. So that's a quick little tour of the inside of Winsor's. <laughs> so we just sat down at Winsor's and we have some special guests with us tonight. We have my niece Allison and her husband Morgan. And they are uh, newlyweds. So. Uh, and this is their first time at the Winsels here in uh, Mobile. So uh, it's going to be an exciting night. And <laughs> we have been looking forward to meeting Morgan. We just got the uh, oysters. And these are the naked oysters. Do you like naked things, Morgan? <laughs> All right. So do you know how to eat oysters? Yeah. Uh, Morgan says he knows how. Now, the classic way from what I've read and from what I remember dad is just, just lemon. And I need a fork. Uh, make sure it's detached. And then you kind of slurp it down. Mmm. Mm. Like a movie? Yeah. That is delicious. Oh very briny. These are the wild-caught oysters at Wenzel's. They're wild-caught, fresh, delicious. Oh. It's right there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, here, here goes Morgan. Is he going to eat it the classic way? I can't do the classic way. He can't do the classic way. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, that's a great way to eat it, too. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, it, it actually, Morgan will uh, testify here that it is delicious. Mm -hmm. I was going to put a little uh, uh, sauce on it. Oh, looks so good. <laughs> oh, you can see the pleasure on his face. Look at that. Delicious. So when you get come to Winsel's, if you've never had oysters, get them. And if you don't think you like them, you got to try them anyway, because at Winsel's they're fresh and delicious. So dinner has arrived, and we got the fried platter to split, and I'm, it looks like some fried oysters, fried fish, some hush puppies, a crab, is that a crab? <laughs> and some shrimp, looks delicious. Okay, we got oysters, some shrimp, what is this? What type of fish? Um, fish? Blackened fish, some Cajun rice, scallops. I've never had any of this except for the fish. And I got a blackened chicken Alfredo. <laughs> I'll speak for us, don't worry. <laughs> That's why I'm 
All right, so this is the seafood gumbo, and this is kind of their signature dish, dish an award-winning seafood gumbo. Oh, it looks good. Mm-hmm. Wow. I can see why that's award-winning. So those are the top three places to eat in Mobile, Alabama. Number one for breakfast. Spot of tea. That was fantastic. Number two was the Noble South. And wow, what a unique place that was. And the uh, dinner spot we picked out. And you can't go wrong with Wenzel's Oyster. Wenzel's Oyster House and Restaurant. Oh, that was fantastic. Wow. So delicious. Yeah, it might be the best seafood restaurant I've Agreed. ever been to. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, and it yeah. had a bonus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What was the bonus? I got to meet Craig T. Nelson, who is Mr. Incredible, also the dad on Parenthood. He was so nice. I walked up to him and just said how much I loved him and how awesome he was. And he was so, so nice about yeah, it. <laughs> he was. He seemed like a really uh, nice, nice gentleman. So, yeah, Becky, uh, she got to meet a famous person as well as eat a fantastic oh, best dinner. Best seafood ever, so good. So if you're ever in Mobile, Alabama, we would suggest those three spots to eat at. Uh, they were outstanding and Mobile really just treated us just fine. Uh, we, One of my new favorite places. Oh yes, so be sure to come down to Mobile, Alabama and, and enjoy some of the top restaurants in the South.